Okay, so today we are talking about the growth factors versus the growth rates. Um, to begin, what is the difference between these two? So the growth factor is the factor by which a quantity multiplies itself over time. So this is usually expressed as a decimal. And then the growth rate is the addend by which a quantity increases or decreases over time. And this is expressed as a percentage. Now, here's how to change growth rates to growth factors if you have a percentage in your problem. So let's say you have um, your 11% is your growth rate. You would add 100% to that number to get you 111% and then change that number to a decimal. So to change a percent into a decimal, uh, let's say pretend you have a decimal at the end of 111, you move that decimal two spots over. So it'd be 1.11 is your growth factor. Now to change growth factors to growth rates, let's say for example you have again the 1.11 to work backward, change this number to a percentage, so move the decimal spot two spots to the right, change it to 111% and then subtract 100% to get 11%. Now remember, this is very important if you're working with the equation I'm about to show you later. When using the equation, you can only use the growth factor or the decimal number in that equation, not the percentage. So here's how to find the growth factor if given numbers in, an, in a store problem. So if you take the present or new value minus the past value over the present value, that gives you the growth factor. So for example, a flower was planted into a pot. When it was planted, the flower was two inches tall. Then after three months, the flower was 13 inches. What is the flower's growth factor? So if we take the present value, which is 13, minus the past value, which is two, divide it by the present value, which is 13, you get 0.8461 inches. Now here is the equation you would use. Uh, so we have A equals T in parentheses, one plus R parentheses to the T power. So A would be your new amount. P is your principal amount or your starting amount. You have one plus R, which is your rate as a decimal, so your growth factor, to T, which is time. So let's use that same example. So again, a flower was planted into a pot. When it was planted, the flower was two inches tall. Then after three months, the flower was 13 inches. What is its growth factor? So again, we have the growth factor as 0.8461. So if we uh, say how tall would this flower be after seven months, uh, we want to find the new amount after seven months, so we keep A alone equals two, which is your principal amount, parentheses one plus your growth factor, which again is 0 0.8461, close parentheses, to the time. So we want to find it after seven months. So um, your time is seven. So that's just in putting all of your uh, numbers into the equation. We're not gonna find what that new amount would be. We just wanna start off uh, nice and easy right now to figure out um, or to input all of the numbers into an equation where you would be able to find this new amount. So here we have another example. So the growth rate of the turtle population is 40%. The current population, 